Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy. Today we're going to continue talking about odd and even numbers and we're going to look at the pattern of odd numbers and how that relates to two digit numbers. So starting here, I just wrote numbers one, 0 through 20, okay? And we're going to circle the even numbers and we're going to figure out even numbers by making um squares so for example this is two and they each have a partner so two is an even number okay and then we add this is three it's not even because it doesn't have a partner but when i close it up we now have Four and four is an even number. So now we have two more. So six is an even number. Seven is odd because it does not have a partner. Can't make equal groups with it. But eight is even. Now we have 10. 10 is an even number. 11 is odd, but 12 is even. We're going to look at the pattern when we're done here. Um, 14 is even. Sixteen is an even number. Seventeen, eighteen is an even number. And now we have twenty. Look at all the numbers that I circled that were even. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen and 20. Those are all even numbers. And if you notice, the 2, when the 2 is in the 1's place, it's also even. When the 4 is in the 1's place, it was also even. When the 6 was in the 1's place, it was even. When the 8 is in the 1's place, it's even. And when the 0 is in the 1's place, it's also even. And then when it's 1's place here. So now let's look at it if we take away one at a time. We're going to underline our odd numbers. So if I erase one, how many am I left with? 19, right? And 19 is an odd number. So I'm going to underline our odd numbers. And now we're at... 18, and if I take away one more, now we have how many? 17, right? Now I take away one more, we're at 16, which is even. And take away one more. Now we have 15, which is odd. Okay, one more. I messed it up a little bit. We're at 13, which is odd. Now we're at 11, odd. Notice when there's one extra, that's how we know it's an odd number. Okay, now we have 9, which is odd. Now, how many do we have? Three and four. We have seven, which is an odd number. Now, we have five, which is an odd number. Next, we have three, odd number. 
then we have one, which is an odd number. Now look at these odd numbers and see. Look when the one is in the ones place, it's odd. When the three is in the ones place, it's odd. When the five is in the ones place, it's odd. The nine is in the ones place. And the seven in the ones place makes the whole number odd. So what if I gave you a number, let's say, 26. You're going to look at your ones place, 6. Let's look. Oh, 6 is even. 26 is an even number. You can break it up into two equal groups. 26 would be even. What if I gave you the number 38? Look at your ones place. 8 is even. 38 is an even number. What about 57? Your ones place. 7 is an odd number. That makes 57 odd. What about 42? Look at your ones place. 2 is an even number, so that makes this number even. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do 78. 8 is an even number, so that makes this whole number even. All right. Now I'm going to show you your um, problem set. Um, there are a lot of questions this time today, but I think you guys are going to be just fine. Okay, I'm going to do an additional video that shows you your problem set, and I'll read the questions. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!